The second dimension of cloud computing are the actual applications that you want to provide in the cloud. These applications need to be built dedicated for that environment. Today, it is trivial to take any kind of application, and I always say you can even take Pac-Man these days, and pop, put it into the cloud. The disadvantage is that if you take a traditional on-premise application and move it into the cloud, yes, you can save some money by more intelligent usage of the resources, but the critical part is that you don't get to the total cost of ownership equation that you need to have. What do I mean by this? What we need to accomplish in a cloud-based infrastructure eventually is that running 10 systems for a thousand customers and running a thousand systems for 10 customers cost the same. We are not yet there today, so still a lot of work to do, but the only way how you get there is to really invent an architecture which is built for this total cost of ownership equation. SAP started this endeavor actually in 2004. And we've learned a lot, believe me. Uh, we not only had successes, we also had quite a number of failures. But today, we are on this track that we move into the TCO funnel where we want it to be. And we really start to make money now with cloud-based applications. The first application, the flagship product, is SAP Business by Design. It is a full-blown business suite, 35 end-to-end -end processes like order to cash, available in the cloud. I get the question pretty often, well, why do you build a complete cloud? If you look at other companies who just offer a piece of the segment, are so successful. My answer is, best of breed, only works in the absence of best of suite. And as we are progressing to deliver a true best of suite, this solution will find its marketplace. Because what companies need at the end of the day is an end-to-end -end process. Take an example from the customer relationship management space. You have quite a few offerings today in the cloud to do the first segment of the process, which is lead to opportunity. Lead to opportunity is great, but what I actually want is lead to cash, so that you can see the entire value chain from I had a first contact, this turned into an opportunity, I was able to send the customer a quote, the customer accepted my quote, we converted that one into an order, the order led to a shipment, the shipment led to an invoice, the customer paid, and we posted all of the documents in our accounting system. So these end-to-end -end processes are what companies really need, what the large customers of SAP always wanted to have from SAP. And when I talk today about customers of business by design and I ask them, why do you buy business by design? Do you buy it because of our cloud computing paradigm? Most of them tell me two things. First of all, they couldn't care less whether I run it on a cloud on the latest piece of hardware or on a fridge. That doesn't matter to them. What they want is that they can focus on their business and that they have access to the SAP Business Process Library. Now that we have this application available, we can make the next step. And we can say, business by design both has a solution character, that's what I described right now, but also has more and more so a platform character. Platform means that I can take business by design and build other applications on top of it. The first example is sales on demand. So sales on demand reuses the existing business objects from business by design, but puts a dedicated user interface and some additional features on top of it, which sales representatives need. In an SAP environment, the value proposition is that you have sales on demand with lead to opportunity management, integrated with SAP Business Suite, where you have already today your quote to cash process. So the two together now give our customers the process chain which I talked about, lead to cash. So that's where we have the solution character 
and the platform character. Having explained both the solution character and the platform character and the underlying physical infrastructure, you now have an asset. And this asset is very relevant for our customers, but it is also relevant for other companies who need such an infrastructure, be it software companies, be it consulting organizations, or be it others who say, I would like to build such an application, but I don't want to undertake all of that investment because maybe my real advantage in the market is that I know the food industry better than anybody else. So these companies talk to us these days and say, if you can build a solution like sales on demand on top of by design, can't we use your platform to build out a solution for our specialized industry? I'm working, for example, with a company right now who are building a real estate management on top of the platform because they say, from everything I need to build, 70% is already in the platform. And with that 70%, I gain a lot of speed. I'm much faster to the market than if I would develop the whole thing on my own. So if I think forward one or two years from now, the solution character will still be mission critical, but the platform character will be a dominating element of our strategy because it allows SAP to take applications into the market and develop these applications very fast, but it also allows our partners to build a business on top of the business by design platform. In the long run, I believe that only a few platform providers will be in the market. And maybe it's a handful of them, not more, because the investment that you need to bring up front goes right into the billion, starting from the compute center, starting from the underlying infrastructure, from the databases, from the web application servers, from the programming languages, all of that not many companies can do that. So it is also for software companies in the next couple of years the challenge to recalibrate their stack. Or as one of my partners recently said, he said, look, I stopped building my own operating system 20 years ago. I stopped building my own database 10 years ago. Maybe it's the right time now to stop building my own financials and my own logistics systems and only focus on implementing the industry-specific functionality that I need. So this is why companies look at business by design, not only as a solution, but more and more so as a platform for their application development.